If you use technology with a purpose, and that purpose is your customers and your employees and your business, then it works. If you use tech for tech purpose, it's when I don't think it works. And, and I'm sure we all have examples of, of, of that kind of um, division between purpose full and purposeless, yeah. I mean, I, I characterize that, you know, in our own lives, we might be interested in all sorts of gadgets and things yeah. that are quite interesting. You could have your home littered with these things. It's all fun and all exciting. You put some of them in the bin. But in a corporate environment, and no particular organization, but I, I see it in all sorts of places where I have discussions with uh, senior execs, you know, there are all sorts of pilots, things that come up to prove a concept. The difficulty is perhaps going back to your platforms and ecosystems. Uh, to the platform's point about something being reusable, a capability that continues for the future, so the organization grows and evolves rather than just doing something that starts and stops. That's quite challenging if ideas bubble up in different teams or it's for a small scale, short term initiative or to solve a problem without being lasting, yep. isn't it? Yeah. How do you overcome that? I, I as, a, as a CIO, you may think that I may be tempted by technology. <laughs> Um, We'd be right. Other, we? It's the other way around. I, I, I spend half my life stopping people from implementing technology for, I was going to say fun. It's not for fun, but you know what I mean, without a real, real meaning or a real purpose. It's too tempting. There's, there's, there's too many gadgets, too many widgets that are available. Uh, and, and, and many people are attracted by them without thinking, actually, what can this do for my customers or my employees or, or my business? Yeah.